Hey, if you're new here, then welcome to my channel, Flashback Videos. I really hope you like what I'm going to show you today. And of course, if you're a regular here, then a big thank you for coming back. Anyway, today's flashback movie is the coming of age drama from 1993, What's Eating Gilbert Grape? In which a 25 year old grocery store clerk cares for his obese mother and his intellectually disabled younger brother in a sleepy Iowa town. As usual, if you like what you see, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, then you could even subscribe to the channel. I mean, it doesn't cost anything, and it really helps me out. Okay, so with all that being said, let's do this. Directed by Lassa Hallstrom and written by Peter Hedges, What's Eating Gilbert Grape was released by Paramount Pictures in December 1993, with a running time of just under two hours. The movie was filmed in Texas with a budget of around $11 million, but its worldwide total was only about $10 million. Gilbert Grape is a small town young man with a lot of responsibility. Chief among his concerns are his mother, who is so overweight that she can't leave the house, and his mentally impaired younger brother Arnie, who has a knack for finding trouble. As a movie, What's Eating Gilbert Grape is both emotional and uplifting. Lassa Hallstrom directs this family drama with care and passion. Peter Hedge's screenplay is emotionally engaging and heartfelt. Arnie, Gilbert's mentally impaired younger brother, is portrayed by Hollywood leading man Leonardo Wilhelm DiCaprio, who was born in California in 1974. Few actors in the world have had a career quite as diverse as Leo's, who went from relatively humble beginnings to the major Hollywood star he is today. When you think of the many amazing movies he's made, it's difficult to look past such greats as Inception, The Wolf of Wall Street, The Revenant, and Titanic. But my personal favourite has got to be Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Leo currently lives in Los Angeles, and although he has never been married, he's had a whole host of glamorous girlfriends, and is currently stepping out with Hollywood rising star Camilla Marone. 25 year old Gilbert, the grocery store clerk responsible for caring for his obese mother and his intellectually disabled younger brother, along with the rest of the family, is portrayed by the iconic John Christopher Depp II, who was born in Kentucky in 1963. Having made his movie debut in 1984's A Nightmare on Elm Street and followed it up with an appearance in Platoon in 1986, Depp rose to prominence as a teen idol on the TV series 21 Jump Street. He became one of the most commercially successful movie stars by playing Captain Jack Sparrow in the Pirates of the Caribbean movies and also received praise for Chocolat, Finding Neverland and Public Enemies. Depp has also enjoyed a commercially successful collaboration with Tim Burton. In 2015, Depp married actress Amber Heard and their 2017 divorce drew much media attention. And we all know the final result of that little debacle. Gilbert's obscenely obese mother was played by actress Darlene Cates, who was born Rita Darlene Guthrie in Texas in 1947. Cates' acting career ignited after she appeared on an episode of Sally Jesse Raphael in 1983, entitled Too Heavy to Leave Their House, and is how she was chosen to make her debut in this movie. Darlene had been married to US Marine Robert Cates since 1963, and they had three children. In 2012, she had lost some 240 pounds in weight after a series of health issues, but died in her sleep in 2017, at the age of 69. Actress and singer Juliette Lake Lewis was born in Los Angeles in 1973 and plays the part of Becky, the young woman stuck in town with her grandmother who becomes close to Gilbert and Arnie. Juliet became an it girl of American cinema in the early 1990s, appearing in various independent and art house movies, and made her debut with a small part in 1988's My Stepmother is an Alien. She won an Oscar nomination for a portrayal of Danielle Bowden in Martin Scorsese's remake of Cape Fear, and went on to star in the likes of California, Natural Born Killers, and Starsky and Hutch. Juliet was married to actor, director and writer Stephen Bearer between 1999 and 2005, but she doesn't have any children. Gilbert's sarcastic younger sister, Ellen Gray, was portrayed by Mary Kate Shellhard, who was born in Illinois in 1978. 
as an actress who has only really had a few small supporting roles on to episodes of TV shows, Mary Kate's greatest movie credit came when she appeared as Barbara Lovell in Apollo 13, but she has also appeared in such as Free Willy 2 and Mr. Blue Sky. Mary Kate was just 13 when she was discovered by casting director Gail Levin during a nationwide search for the role of Ellen Grape. Gilbert's handy and extremely loyal friend Tucker Van Dyke was played by actor, comedian and musician John Christopher Riley, who was born in Illinois in 1965. After making his movie debut in 1989's Casualties of War, Riley hit the big time with roles in the likes of this movie and Days of Thunder in the 90s. Since then he starred in such as Boogie Nights, Magnolia and Chicago, as well as The Aviator, again with Leonardo DiCaprio. Riley has been married to independent film producer Alison Dickey since 1992 and they have two sons. The unhappily married Betty Carver, with whom Gilbert is having an affair, was played by actress, comedian and singer-songwriter Mary Nell Steenbergen, who was born in Arkansas in 1953. Mary made her movie debut in 1978's western comedy Going South and went on to earn praise for a role in Jonathan Demme's 1980 comedy drama Melvin and Howard. With an impressive list of credits on both the big and small screen, Mary has starred in the likes of Back to the Future 3, Philadelphia and The Proposal. Living in Los Angeles, Mary was married to her Time After Time co-star Malcolm McDowell and they had two children together. But in 1995 she went on to marry actor Ted Danson, whom she had met on the set of the movie Pontiac Moon. Gilbert's other close friend and funeral director Bobby McBurney is played by actor, author and musician Crispin Hellion Glover, who was born in New York City in 1964. Without doubt best known as George McFly in Back to the Future, Glover has also appeared as Andy Warhol in The Doors, The Knave of Hearts in Alice in Wonderland, and The Thin Man in the Charlie's Angels movies. With homes in both Los Angeles and the Czech Republic, Glover has never been married and he doesn't have any children. Gilbert's elder sister, the maternal Amy Grape, was played by actress and screenwriter Laura Harrington, who was born in Michigan in 1958. This is perhaps Laura's best known role, but she has also appeared in Steven Spielberg's Maximum Overdrive and had a supporting role in The Devil's Advocate with Keanu Reeves. I didn't find any mention of her ever being married, but she does have two children. Betty's insurance broker husband, who suffers a heart attack and drowns, was played by actor Kevin Teig, who was born John Kevin Fishburne in California in 1944. Making his movie debut as an extra in 1967's The Graduate, Teig is best known as firefighter paramedic Roy DeSotto on the 70s TV series Emergency, and made guest appearances on shows such as The Nancy Drew Mysteries and The Six Million Dollar Man. As I said at the beginning, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I really hope you enjoyed it and maybe got something out of it, even if you don't decide to watch the movie. Once again, please don't forget to smash that like button or even subscribe to the channel. You know you want to. And remember, it's free.